Hi, it's the 1st of April 2025. We are in Iceland. It's April's Fool's Day, and this is what we got. One more eruption. The eighth eruption in the vicinity of Grindavik since December 2023. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following this over the past few years, but uh, back in November 2023, Bakma had been, had been building up here under the Blue Lagoon, which is to the north of us right here, behind this nice little mountain called Mount Thorpjot. And on the 10th of November 2023, pretty significant magma intrusion broke its way from the chamber and towards the town of Grindavik, south of the magma chamber. And it's right over here. And the town was evacuated. A massive so the fissure or a crevasse opened up through the town. Uh, a lot of earthquakes, a lot of damage to houses, and subsequently the town was more or less evacuated. Then on December 2023, it finally erupted. And then again in January 2024, and that time the eruption made it all the way into town right over there and took three houses today what is going on or what hap has happened today is at 6 30 this morning a swarm of earthquakes began and what was pretty evident from that moment on was that another magma intrusion was sort of digging its way around the area here north of Grindavik, uh, just east of the blue lagoon and then around 10 o'clock, that magma intrusion turned into an eruption, which is what we see here behind us. Here we have about a, a fissure line of about 700 meters, which has been erupting since about, like I said, 10 o'clock. And it is relatively small compared to some of the other eruptions we've had here, uh, even though the magma built up was the greatest in these series of uh, eruptions so far. What we still have here is a rather puny eruption in this context of previous eruptions. However, the fissure line opened through the berm, which was built here last year to protect the town and has moved, I guess, about 100 meters south of the berm which means we're about 600 meters away from the northernmost houses in the town. Uh, everybody has been evacuated. There are very few people living in Grindavik at this point in time. Most of the people who used to live here, thousands of people lived here, uh, their houses were purchased by a fund set up by the Icelandic state. Most of these people have, built, uh, have uh, bought houses elsewhere and moved away. A few households still remain and they have, as far as I know, all been evacuated. So there's uh, no risk to, to people or livestock or any, anything like that. So what we're dealing with now is basically we're going to try to f see how this eruption plays out. Given the volume of magma that had built up this and, and given how sort of uh, little power this eruption has shown so far we might be looking at a relatively long eruption uh, and that might eventually become problematic just by because of the fact that the lava is pouring out so near to the town so it might slowly close in on the town uh, in some of the previous eruptions uh, fire engines were used to cool the lava to try to slow its flow and it's and the fire engines are being moved here from another town further east called Tholarsab. So it's quite likely that those will be used to try to stem the flow of the lava towards the town. Uh, I've not heard anything or nothing has been reported on whether or not 
another berm will be built closer to the town to try to save it at this point. But yeah, this is this is the status now, and this is pretty much what we know by now. Like I said, the fishing line has gone through the berm. We are standing on the berm. It's a massive, massive structure that cost millions, billions of Icelandic kroner to build. And regardless, the fissure just opened basically under the berm and has started sort of erupting through it. So uh, I guess no matter what you built, no matter how much money you pour into it, nature can still fuck that shit up. So, uh, well, at least it will probably do some good in terms of staving off the lava flow from the part of the fishing line that is actually on the north side of it. But yeah, it's a massive structure, as you can see. Uh, well, I guess this is basically it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, We'll keep a close eye on, on this thing as it progresses. Uh, for more information, you can check uh, out grapevine.is or you can check our socials. I've been Jon Trusty from the Reykjavik Grapevine. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you later.